I'll never forget how nervous I felt. The tension in the muscles of my finger as it gently rested upon the trigger. The brisk cold morning air was biting my ears. Where are you? You son of a bitch. I mumbled. White fog came from my breath as if to warn of my words. I heard the sound of an engine rumbling in the distance. I quickly picked up the long rifle and put my eye to the scope. I locked eyes on my target and leaned my mouth into my shoulder. I've got eyes on the target now. I said as I pulled the trigger. A loud puff of air echoed off of a tree near me. Moments later a fainting could be heard. You assassinated me. My friend yelled. Ha! First shot. I'm getting good at this. Did you see where I was hiding as you were driving by? I asked. No. Not until you got up to come meet me. He replied. Your turn. He grabbed the air rifle out of my hands and took off running. He left me my chariot. The green motorized long cart. It could go a top speed of about 5 miles per hour. We would drive it through the woods of his property and shoot at each other with BB guns. I remember how oblivious we were. How reckless. Okay. Where are you? I scanned my eyes from tree to tree as I drove the winding paths. I took a slight bend into a clearing where my friend's family had a tree house built. Is that a dildo in the window? I asked as I drove by. It sure was. A loud ping rang out and I called out you got me. My friend came sauntering down the roof of the treehouse. I distracted you with a big red donger. Didn't I? He called out. Where did you get the thing from? I asked embarrassed. We were in the entryways of puberty. My older brother has a bunch of weird things in there for when he brings his dates home. He said. Gross. You touched it? I replied. I grabbed the rifle out of his hands and took off running. You won't kill me this time. I heard him yell as I ran. I jogged about half a mile up the path before finding a nice little hill to climb. Once on top, I broke a few tree branches and covered myself like an army sniper. I felt like I was fully covered but I couldn't see very well. I heard the sound of the engine roaring down a path and I braced myself. I shot. I did not hear a loud ding. I heard a loud cry. He shot me in the arm. My friend called out. I ran down the hill as fast as I could. Panic was entering my mind. How can we be so dumb? I thought. Realization for how foolish we had been entered my mind once I saw the blood trickling down his bicep. We probably should be wearing helmets and glasses. If we're going to play this. He laughed. Oh good call. I'll bring my paintball mask next time. I told him excited. Okay douche. Payback time. One more round. He said as he grabbed the rifle from me. I had a bad feeling about this one. Suddenly. I no longer wanted to play. Anxiety swelled. My hands began to feel clammy. My foot began to tremble on the gas pedal. I had a bad feeling about this one. I gripped the steering wheel and turned gently around a corner. As soon as I entered back into a straight lane. I felt a hot sting in my pinky toe. The sudden shock of the sting made me take my foot off the gas the car came stuttering to a stop. Ah shit. You got me good. I called out. My friend came running out laughing until he saw what happened. The BRB had hit me right on my pinky toe's knuckle and popped my toe right out of place. It kind of popped back into place and to this day I still have a little indent in my toe from it. Any hosers. Thank you so much for reading. I hope you have a fantastic day any hosers. Thank you so much for reading. I hope you have a fantastic day. Till the dairy dancer.